What's going on everyone? One Dr. Genius Gaming here and in this video I'm showing you guys one good game which you guys can play offline. Right, so sometimes you guys might end up in an area where you guys have no network connection and you're like, no, I have no good offline games to play, like games which are really engaging. Well in this case I'm going to be telling you guys just a game for that. And now this game is Shadow Fight 2. Alright, so you guys might be wondering what's up about Shadow Fight. Well, have a second look at this, right? You guys are a ninja who basically accidentally opened the gate, which they shouldn't have, got turned into Shadow, and now you want your life back. So now what you guys have to do is you have to battle through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 7. You have to battle through approximately 7 different bosses in order to get yourself enough gems to unlock the gates and get your human body back. And once you get the human body back, no, no, it doesn't end there. Something else terrible happens which forces you guys to play again through it all over again, right? So it already has multiple levels of, like, storyline. And not only that, it has multiple modes. Now you guys may be wondering, yeah, yeah, there's multiple modes, but I'm looking for skill. Well, let me tell you guys that. Okay, so the game itself has a pro hundreds of weapons with unlock and master and upgrade. And not only that, with every level which you guys go up, the, the weapons become progressively harder to level up and they're two different modes, right? You guys can go into Eclipse mode where the opponents are stronger and you guys can play in Normal mode. Now, I always play in Eclipse mode, right? Yeah, that's one thing which I go for. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to play in Normal mode because some of you guys might not unlock it. And now another thing is that this game has multiple different weapons which you guys can master, multiple armor pieces to upgrade, helmets, weapons, and even magic. Your your character gets to use magic in the name, which is kind of crazy. They also have a feature for duels and stuff where you guys can fight other players and... Let's do this. Me versus the ninja. Started recording a little bit too late in the game. I mean, I'm only at the hermit. Right, so now in this game, basically what happens is you guys might get random equipment. And not only that, but you guys are not allowed to kick. Now, because you guys are not allowed to kick, sometimes that makes this even harder for me to play. So, you guys can see, I've actually never used this weapon ever before, and I haven't even tested it. So, you guys can tell, I'm taking a lot... I was actually taking a fair bit of damage during that few seconds, right? So, this is probably one of the most challenging modes to play against. Like, especially when you have the one for no jumping. Like, this is probably one of the hardest things to play in. Because of the challenges, it kind of makes it fun and allows you guys to see how good your ability at the game is. So yeah, there's that. Now, this mode, really, it's pretty good. You guys can battle opponents which are at different levels. And I believe that the highest opponent which I've defeated was at, um, what do you call it? At Impossible? Yeah. I defeated an opponent at Impossible. Now, you guys can tell that, of course, that it seems like that you might be fighting some sort of AI or something. Because every battle you go up against, and if you battle them more than twice, they figure out your moves and are able to, like, screw you up. So you guys can't repeat the same moves and you need to figure out different patterns of attack. Now over here, because I have no idea how this weapon works, I really can't use it well. So yeah, this is how this battle is going to end out. And oh, oh, what? They missed? Well, that's nice. Let's just stab them quickly now. Of course, about the duel mode, you can only do this once every two hours, unfortunately. Alright guys, so we're facing off once again against this guy. So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to roll back and stab right over here. Now, unfortunately, that did not work, so we can stab him right here, slice him again. And now I know he's going to go to that side, so it's probably best to, like, move as far away as possible. Let's move back now. I don't think they have any throwing weapons, so we are good, right? They're going to come over here and... no. Alright, now... Now, of course, you guys do know that I was only using one attack there, but you guys can use multiple different types of attacks. Right, so right now I'm mainly using the one where I have like two hits, which is like... Which if you hit it, it will do a lot of damage. Now, there are multiple ways where you guys can play. There are like, I think there are approximately seven, wait no, four... Yeah, so there are approximately eight different attacks which you guys can do. Yeah, so you guys can tell that from that I did really bad because I was not allowed to kick and I never used that weapon before. So duels are basically like a really hard challenge for you guys. They're meant to... I'll challenge you and now other things what you guys can do is you can play in tournaments and challenge mode now challenge mode basically has its own twist where you guys have to like do something while having challenges like you guys might have to deal a lot of damage while having like zero health right so that's the thing what you guys would have to do in tournaments basically you guys just get to defeat people without really having the twist on it now over here you guys will see, I'll go into survival basically, we have to fight 10 waves of ninjas and if you guys win, you guys can get yourself up to 3000 gold. Now of course it also depends on which weapon you guys use and you guys can tell that really, 
you guys need to make sure you have the top gear equipment. And now, of course, you can't have the top gear equipment all the time because you guys know you're constantly leveling up. Until you reach a uh, level 12 in this mode, right? Yeah, for some modes, I do believe that the maximum level which you guys can reach, like, before you have to progress on to the next stage is approximately, like, level 7 or level 12, yeah. So, it's approximately 5 levels majority of the time, and over here you guys will see I'll lose my streak of taking 0 damage. So, yeah, they're gonna die. But, so there's a certain level which makes sure that you got... Right, so because of the game, it makes sure that it's not impossible for you guys to win against the boss, which is good. And not only that, but they also do make it like, oh my god, this guy over here is so annoying. And not only that, but on top of that, you guys can add special abilities, and majority of this works offline, right guys? You don't, you, the only thing which you guys need Wi-Fi with this is for dueling, and sometimes the annoying ads. Now, of course, unfortunately, it seems like that after the first mode, they decide to hit you with ads every few seconds. So, play in airplane mode if you guys want it. Now, of course, the previous versions of this weren't like this. Like, we wouldn't get ads in the previous version. Like, we'd have to be, be able to choose on our own. Alright, yeah. So, sometimes you guys can see that if you guys use, like, a really long range and heavy weapon, like, you guys don't do too well. So, you have to strategically plan. Now, every weapon has its own upside and downside. Long range weapons are usually better. And you guys can see that sometimes these people over here get really annoying. Especially these guys. Like, I don't know what's up with them. Sometimes their, their like, skill cap just goes up by, like, a million percent. And sometimes when you guys are in really close range, you guys can't really use their weapons. So you guys also need to know the, the leg movements, right? Now, in this, I'm wondering what I should do. You know, you guys have to, like, make a plan of something, right? How many shurikens is this guy gonna throw? Now, you guys can see, you basically have to time your jump so when the opponent attacks, because you guys know that the best defense is usually the best... That the best attack is usually the best offense right yeah no, wait what no i'm pretty sure i said that wrong i'm i am certain i said that wrong but you guys need to wait for the opponent's attack and basically use your attack in the exact opposite position against them now of course usually my matches don't end up with me losing like this so yeah that's something new all right so you guys can upgrade your weapons over here and now a good part about this is that they let you watch ads in order to upgrade them it seems like we watched an ad but they didn't even upgrade it this is the scam Right, they basically make us watch an ad and then don't upgrade our weapons. What is this? And you guys can see that even sometimes that the batons are good, right? So yeah, now I'm gonna basically do this in hard and in impossible is like... Impossible is on another level, but hard mode I find it easy, right? Yeah, let's do this. Fight. Yeah, let's just fight them. Come on, let me fight them. Wait, alright guys, so let's go fight against this guy and you guys can use multiple weapons. So let's use the serpents. And yeah, um, we totally didn't battle this guy before and lost. <laughs> Why would I keep that clip in the video? You guys know, right? Yeah. So let's go battle against this guy. We both are wearing about the same armor, so let's do this. Now, of course, my my main goal is to like, not get on the ground too long because then we lose. Like, And not only that, but we also need to do like the up attack. And we need to make sure that our timer does not go too down. Now, uh, oh, wait, that's us? Okay, come on, jump, jump! Alright, now I think we can... Darn it. Right? <gasps> oh my god, we barely managed to make that jump over there! Down, 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 come on, kick, kick. And, come on, one kick, one kick. Okay, yeah, boom! Yeah, as you guys can see, sometimes it's really easy, other times it's really hard. I do believe this match also lasts three rounds because of that. Now let's just jump backwards, let's jump backwards over here, let's jump up, I think he's gonna try something fishy, and let's hit him straight in the head causing his weapon to go away, and now I do believe this battle will be easy, let me just jump up, and I think we can do this, right, yeah, jump up once again, JUMP UP! Aw oh, man, really, down to the ground, let's jump up again, let's kick this guy, Oh man, really, jump up, come on, kick, come on. Okay, at least we're getting a jump over here. So as long as we're allowed to jump, I'm really happy, right? Yeah. Right, really, all I have to do is enough damage over here. So you guys can see, as long as you guys... Yeah, it's really hard sometimes, and it's really fun. So you guys can tell it has a perfect mix of frustration and fun and progress. So really, in like just 20 minutes, you guys can feel like you progressed a whole lot in the game. Just 20 minutes is all you guys need to feel like you progress like to the next level. Because after this video, I think I'm gonna battle Hermit and 
I'm going to battle one of Hermit's bodyguards. So obviously you guys can tell that this game is really fun and well yeah it has actually a lot of stuff. And not only that but you guys can apply special enchants on top of your equipment to make it stronger and do more damage and do different stuff right. So maybe you guys can apply an enchant which deals damage back when you guys are hit. So that's basically a thing which this is able to do. It's it's basically like a story type game where you guys do a lot of fighting with shadows, learn how to play, unlock the skill of different weapons, and this also this also depends on your reaction time. So if you guys are looking like how good is my reaction time and my ability to like constantly think of how to respond to this, well yeah, I guess this is a game for you. It tests your reaction time and your ability to respond and think of new ways to fight. So all in all, if you guys ask me, this is a really good game which you guys should play if you guys do not already have it. And not only that, it's ultimate for offline, so it's like really good. The only downside is the energy bar, but the energy bar makes sure that you don't play too much, right? And because it makes sure that you don't play too much, it already has a built-in, you don't play too much type of thing, right? It will stop you from playing way too much and losing like 5 hours on this. So. There's a time limit, and not only that, but it takes 7 minutes for each bar to charge back. So you guys can be sure that it will be 35 minutes before you guys are able to play again. Now, of course, you can buy this out, but then I guess that kind of ruins it, because I want a challenge, right? I want to be able to do this mode without needing to buy anything, right? That's how I've been playing Stick or Legacy for the last few years. Not- Oh my god, I'm changing up the name of so many games. That's how we've been playing this game- That's how I've been playing a sh Stick- Blah. That's how I've been playing Shadow Fight for- That's how I've been playing really all of my- Yeah, really, the thing is, I'm not pay to play, I'm usually free to play, so... I have to make progress by, like, playing, like, in a way where I can't spend any money. So it's actually really fun and comp- It's really fun and hard at the same time. So if you guys do, I'd recommend you guys play Shadow Fight if you guys haven't already. And once again, um, yeah, just play Shadow Fight. I'm pretty sure you guys can find it on the App Store. And I, I do think that Shadow Fight, I do think that the Shadow Fight is on the computer, right? Yeah, I think they have Shadow Fight 2 on the computer, but I don't know about Shadow Fight 3. Now, Shadow Fight 3, unfortunately, is an online game, so you guys won't be able to play it offline. But yeah, you guys can see Shadow Fight 2 over here is really fun. And really, to do the battle, sometimes you got to know the other weapons as well. Come on. Oh. So, yeah, that's basically a sum up of Shadow Fight 2. Really fun game, would recommend guys, go download it, and if by any chance you guys are thinking this is sponsored, forget it. Have you looked at my subscriber count? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So speaking of subscriber count, pl guys, please hit that subscribe button, and it seems like that. It seems like that whenever we level up, our status changes from hard to impossible to normal. So that's the thing guys, but I would recommend you guys hit that subscribe button, it would really help me out a lot. And yeah, I'll be catching you all next time when Dr. G is out the house. And of course every level you level up, you guys get a lot of new stuff, which is really nice. So yeah, I'll catch you all next time when Dr. G...